Hello, it's Matt from the Stephen King Fancast and from the Stephen King Movie Club. Uh, this is neither of those, although if you listen to the Stephen King Fancast, uh, this might be good info for you. Um, with uh, situations being as they are, I just haven't been able to afford my uh, usual run of Stephen King comic books. But I was able to manage to piece some money together and uh, went over to Corvallis. Hello, Luann. This is Mousy Lou, the writer on the on the blog, as I'm sure you well know. Uh, this is her hometown. I'm over at my place where I go get comic books, Matt's Cavalcade of Comics, Cards, and Collectibles. And uh, I got my Dutch Brothers. That's product placement that I don't get paid for, but maybe they will pay me someday. Refreshing. So um, I'm going to head in here and see if he'll let me do some recording while I'm in there. And if not, then I guess we'll do a comic rundown out here in my truck after the fact. So, uh, you enjoy. This is the inside of Matt's Cavalcade of Comics, Cards, and Collectibles. Uh, what you just saw in that first shot was mostly, like, anime, manga type stuff. And this wall always makes me a little weak when I see it, because... On the left here, this is nothing but new release or current running comic books. I'm not panning enough to the right, but you'll see it in an upcoming shot. Just boxes upon boxes of old issues. There's some Doctor Who books in there. I've got, like, here's his wall of trade paperbacks. There's more here. I've helped build my Twilight Zone collection out of all of those boxes. And he's got even more of them on the right right hand side of this aisle. And there's anything you could ever want in comic books. He has it. Now here is the toy room. This is where you go in and you can get your action figures once again. There is some Doctor Who and Walking Dead stuff in here that I would love to get my hands on. Matt's about to come into screen. There's Matt, owner and operator of this fine establishment and what I call my nerd home. All right, so here's the take. Um, now I know it's been a while since I've had any of my comics and I'm pretty stoked. Although today's trip and I really hope the wife isn't watching this video. I really hope the wife isn't watching this video. Read me $80, and that's uh, with the cost of some new bags and boards that I needed to pick up. Um, but on the upside, I am now caught up with the Dark Tower comics. Yay! Um, I'm also... caught up on the stand. Okay, now this is a grip of books as well. Um, so that's my main take. Um, I had to have him hold back some of my other stuff <laughs> because uh, it, was, it was far too much. Like it would have come to almost $150 if I would have picked up my entire subscription box. Um, Quickly, if you are not a comic person and don't know what a subscription box is, it's pretty neat. Um, you go to your local comic store, in which case mine is Matt's Cavalcade of Comics, Cards, and Collectibles. Links below. Um, and they will generally start a box with your interests in mind. Um, and they'll put your name on it. And uh, whenever they get in certain things, they, uh, they automatically hold it for you. So, of course, mine is anything Stephen King. Uh, Road Rage hasn't come in yet. Not at, uh, at my store, anyway. So, as soon as he gets that in, I'll have that. But here's, uh, just some of the other things I want to go over with you. Comic nerds, this is what else shows up in my box. Um, here's Jesus Hate Zombies, A Jurassic Kind of Life, number one. 
And number two, shout out to, uh, big shout out to Steven Lindsay, who used to be on the show with me. I'm pretty stoked for these. Um, also, um, pretty stoked about this. Zombie, uh, zombies in uh, foreign wars. This is a pretty legit book. Um, I have an autographed copy of this at home. Uh, Josh Bile Cantrell does this one. I would, su I would strongly suggest you check this one out because it's pretty legit. And then, uh, brand new, massive, awesome, another Stephen Lindsay comic. Um, and then also to plug some local guys, uh, I got my new, uh, little Lincoln, which is, uh, it's pretty rad. Uh, there's a little Lincoln and, um, this one came with it and I'm not really sure why. Maybe they're just giving them away, but, uh, the three brothers fr frog. Um, these are both put out by warrior, warrior innkeeper comics, which is based in the Albany Corvallis, Oregon area. Um, links to pick these up, um, have them mailed out to you, or you can get digital copies, whatever the case is. Um, links are all below. Also, I will be putting up a uh, page over on the blog, um, strictly dedicated to other comics I read. Actually, I might put that up on my blog. Let me know, uh, make a comment here on, on this video and let me know if you would like that on the Stephen King blog or on my blog. So, uh, let me know. And, uh, also, if you guys are interested in the rest of my Stephen King collection and would like to see the rest of my Stephen King, my comic collection, that is, um, hit me up on, uh, Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, here on YouTube, or on the blog, let me know and I'll do a video about it. And uh, if you wanna see like my weekly slash bi-weekly nerder nerdery trips, nerdery trips? That doesn't say, trips into nerdity. Oh, that one, that's, that's pretty legit right there. I like that one. Um, then let me know and maybe I'll do one of these videos every time I go to the nerd store, so. Check out uh, Matt's Cavalcade of Comics, Cards, and Collectibles. Check out Warrior Innkeeper Comics. Check out Creator's Edge Press. Um, check out... Where is it? 215inc.com. Check out all these great comic books and uh, support independent artists, people. 